in these problems let us see like you know the difference between power transformer and distribution transformer in our previous session we discussed about uh, power transformer let us see about this question in this 10 kV 400 by 200 volts single phase transformer with percentage resistance they have given percentage reactance they have given okay 50 ampere sphere resistive load the value of the load voltage is okay first let me solve this question like you know like most of the students do okay after that i will explain you the flaw the mistake okay see in this this is given as 400 volts and where they have given 200 volts where they have given 200 volts is it induced voltage or load voltage because depending upon that our equation will vary okay so uh, supplying a current of 50 amperes to residual load the value of load voltage is in the sense he is asking this voltage means that this voltage should be 200 volts okay so here if some current is flowing that is 50 amperes 50 amperes he is asking load side voltage in the sense internally induced voltage should be 200 is it power transformer or distribution transformer it should be distribution transformer because in distribution transformer tap changer will not be there so i cannot control this voltage but maximum i can control only this voltage okay so receiving and voltage if they ask that should be distribution transformer now let me solve like you know how most of the people do and let me explain the flaw also here resistive load unity power factor okay so in unity power factor voltage regulation equal to re per unit cos theta 2 plus or minus xe per unit sin theta 2 the moment it's unity power factor this is going to be zero will vanish and this is going to be one so that will be re per unit re per unit is how much three percent or 0 0.03 now what is voltage regulation e2 minus v2 by 200 okay because rated voltage will become 200 now so voltage regulation voltage regulation equal to e2 minus v2 by rated voltage is going to be no load voltage now equal to 0 0.03 so E2 minus V2 voltage drop is going to be E2 into 0 0.03. E2 minus V2, E2 minus V2 is going to be voltage drop. Now 200 minus drop is going to be V2. So this is going to be voltage drop across ZE equal to E2 minus V2 equal to 0 0.03 into E2. 0 0.03 into 200. Okay. If it is 0 0.03 into 200, it is going to be 6 volts. Now, how much is V2? 200 minus 6 drop is going to be 194 volts. So, that implies V2 equal to 194 volts, which is correct. But, let me explain the flaw. Okay. He said that, like, you know, 50 amperes. And this equation should be used for full load only. Because, if it is 1 by n times full load, I have to add 1 by n into this particular equation. But I did not check whether it is full load or not. So, first before going further, here only we have to check whether it is full load or not. Of course, coincidentally in this problem it is full load only. Let me calculate 10,000 by 200 volts. 200 volts side. So, full load current under LV side equal to 10,000 divided by few, oh, sorry, 200 is going to be 50 amperes so he asked your voltage regulation related question at full load only now you can use this equation for example for example rather than 50 amperes 50 amperes if they give 25 amperes same what do you say resistive load only in that case how i have to solve the problem i have to solve voltage regulation at half full load equal to half of Re per unit cos theta 2 plus or minus Xe per unit sin theta 2. So voltage regulation like you know sin theta 2 0 cos theta 2 unity. So this will become 0 0.03 by 2. So 0 0.015. Now how much is voltage drop? Voltage drop is going to be 0 0.015 into 
rated voltage is 200 volts so it's going to be 3 volts so how much is v2 e2 minus drop will become 197 volts okay so before going further we have to check before using this equation we have to check whether the load is at full load or not let us see one more question in this question depending upon the options given sometimes like you know we can play we can play for example of course this is three phase transformer we need not bother about three phase or single phase because everything is going to be per phase now three phase star delta transformer 6000 volts and delta the terminal voltage on the secondary side when supplying full load at 0.8 lagging is 415 volts the equivalent resistance and reactance drops for the transformer are 1 percent and 5 percent respectively the turns ratio is now the question asked is like this okay the load is connected here the load is connected here and the load and voltage when supplying a full load at 0.8 lagging power factor is 415 volts star side star side 415 in the sense this is going to be 415 by root 3 v2 is given v2 is given now you have to find out e2 and the input side voltage is how much delta connected so in delta connected phase voltage equal to line voltage so line voltage normally will be given in three phase so line voltage is 6000 so this is also phase voltage also going to be 6000 now ideally how to solve the problem like he is saying full load okay so this is going to be full load current now what I am supposed to do, what I can do, what I am supposed to do, this V2 I know. Now full load only, Re per unit cos theta 2 plus or minus Xe per unit sin theta 2, I can calculate the voltage drop. And this plus voltage drop will give you E2. Okay, 6000 by E2 is going to be turns ratio I can say. Okay, but here if you observe, means this is 14, this is 24, this is 42, this is 20, 20. In the sense, actually in the options, wide variation is there. The moment wide variation is there, for example, if the options are 14.2, 14.5, 14.3, 13.8, in that case, like, you know, really we have to calculate. But now I need not calculate. Directly, let me divide this divided by this. Okay. So I will get some value. Nearer to that value, I have to choose. That's it. Okay, so we are not supposed to we are not supposed to solve each and every problem in the gate exam. Okay, now in this case, like you know, turns ratio approximately equal to six thousand by four fifteen by root three. Answer is going to be twenty five point zero four. Nearer to twenty five point zero four. Answer is twenty four. Okay. In that way, we can solve the problem. But ideally, how I am supposed to solve, for example, if it is given in IES descriptive, it means full load. REXE, they have given. Okay. So, where is REXE? Equivalent resistance and reactance drops for the transformer are 1% and 5%. So, REXE is given. Full load, they have given RE per unit cos theta 2 plus XE per unit plus. Because it is lagging. XE per unit sin theta 2. This plus drop is going to be this. This divided by this is going to be the value but anyway we need not do that because multiple options are there